Well, Ellen. Yes, Ryan. I did all my research last night. I want you to know. I, I, I uh, tell us about it. How did it all well, go well, down? Well, let me let me. I I hit the dimmer. I, okay. I, I lit it. This uh, tangerine scented candle. It's got three wicks in it. Uh huh. I you think I really... gave you that. You, no, this is a different one. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was like five years ago. I gave you a five ago. wick. <laughs> okay. Well, I can't right. light them all. <laughs> and I listened to Tove Lowe's mm-hmm. album, which was a secret copy. And well, Tove how did Lowe's you get the secret copy? Because I asked for it. Oh, I want to hear it. Well, there was only one secret copy, and it self destructed after my after my listen. Welcome. Welcome to Hollywood. Welcome to America. Welcome Thank to you. the the you that's taking over. Thank you. <laughs> she just walked in. She said, "It's it's kind of crazy how all this is uh, yeah, uh, happening, yeah. right?" It's it's nuts. I I kind of I think my arms turning blue from all the pinching I've been doing. But, and you, uh-huh. you must be hearing this everywhere globally. So that's yes, habits. I am. <laughs> that's, that's the big uh, song off the the album. Do you see Ryan Seacrest on TV in Sweden as much as? Um, we do here. Uh, not as much there. Mm-hmm. That's okay. But is that okay? <laughs> yeah. She like hesitated. But I see a lot of you. Back. But I've been here a lot, and I've seen a lot of you here. Oh uh, right. Well, I actually want to take a field trip to Sweden because I'm I'm fascinated by popular music that comes from there. Mm-hmm. Right. I mean, if you think about, and you'll be able to fill this in better than I, but you go back to the days of Ace of Bass and Roxette and one of the greatest producers and songwriters, Max Martin, who's done a ton of Katy Perry songs. I think, didn't Katy go record in Sweden? I feel like she went to yeah, record yeah, in, yeah. Sweden she, she in Sweden too. She was in Sweden, yeah. It is, it, and of course, you're from there and Avicii's from there. Is this all in the same, same area? Family. Area um, of, of Sweden? Well, yeah. I mean, usually, I mean, Sweden's very small. I mean, it's a big chunk of land, but yeah. it's like nine million people total, the whole country. And if you, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of music in studios in Stockholm. And we do have a lot of like support for doing music from an early age. So um, I think, I mean, it's very popular to be, you know, be a producer, be a writer. But did things but, happen mm. before they happen anywhere else in the world in Sweden? Because I feel like the sound originates, a lot of the sound and pop music originates from there. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I've i been trying to figure it out <laughs> right? why it is yeah. that way. But it's, I mean, it's weird to have like, you know, Icona Pop, our good friends of mine went to the same high school. There are tons of other artists that kind of, how Robin went to that school. It's like so many artists that come from there that then, you know, come over here and it just over. works. I don't know so why. Is it, is it's it, really interesting. Is it in your your head that you want to uh, launch something there and then come over here? Or is it... I think for most, yeah. I mean, is. to to make it here is a huge thing for, for a Swede. <laughs> right. You know, it's like a... It's almost like... Because a lot of, I mean, all of our... All of our TV shows, movies, music, everything like that's big here come, come, comes over to us, and um, even more than like stuff from UK and, and so on. I think that I mean we don't have anything dubbed. Nothing is like you know translated over to Swedish, so we hear everything in in English. In English. So most most Swedes will have like a kind of American sounding accent somehow. Right, <laughs> and, and and I read that you don't like the sunlight. No, is we, that true? No, no, you well, personally, not the whole country. Because they get the midnight sun, right? In the well, yeah, summertime? up up north, yeah, it's like mm-hmm. uh, in the summer, it's it never goes dark. Like you can wear sunglasses at two in the morning. And you're so like, does that make you you annoyed by sun then? Uh, no, I mean, not, have I said I don't like the sun? I, I read it. <laughs> oh, oh, you read, <laughs> I read it. She never said it. You never I read. Said I read well, that, and that you have three kidneys. Is, is have, either one of those true? <laughs> I have three kidneys. How you do? I do. I do. I I don't know. It's weird, but there's yeah, there's two on the right side. Um, what is that? It seems like that might be good. No, like, I was kind of in and out of hospitals for a while. Oh, so, so it's it dangerous? A, it's a bad thing, yeah. Oh. They kind of annoy each other, but oh. I can't take one out. Can you drink more? I think that's the liver that takes care oh, of that more. Right. Oh, okay. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I can What's drink the kidney's fairly? duty? I feel like the kidney's involved. Well, the they, kidneys they, would you Google nature, the kidney's right? responsibilities? Yeah. Yeah. They filter your blood. Oh. Yeah. Mm. All right. Well, um, I, w- I want to come back to, I want to get into this album because it's fascinating how she's broken it up into three chapters that we can all relate to. And we have uh, different orders of I just, how we would exactly. put them. <laughs> I believe my album might be in a different order. <laughs> we'll come back with Tovlo. Does this mirror a relationship or your relationships over the years? My relationships over the years. Okay. Yeah, the, the EP that I released um, in March um, that was called Truth Serum, that was about one specific one. And then mm-hmm. these is, this is more just like a more elaborate description of all of them. Okay. <laughs> 